At the University of Lausanne, we are interested in the evolution of plant reproduction. Plants are different from many animals in the sense that they are sessile. They are fixed to the ground, and so they face a problem in transferring their pollen from one plant to the other. Many plants have evolved special ways of achieving this transfer of pollen between individuals. One way is pollination by wind, where plants release their pollen to the wind, taken from one plant to another by passage of, of air between plants. But most plants have evolved with insects and other animals to transfer their pollen. They invest resources in producing very colourful flowers to attract the insects or birds or sometimes mammals. Insects visit the plants and in the process of visiting the first plant they pick up pollen. When they move to, the, to a flower on another plant they then transfer that pollen onto the female parts of the second plant. Another particularity of plants is that most of them happen to have both of their sexes in the same flower. They are called hermaphrodites. This is in, in a way a lovely solution because the plants can economize by investing the same resource in attracting pollinators to pick up pollen as well as attracting pollinators to deposit pollen on parts of the same flower. And this is perhaps one of the reasons why most plants are hermaphrodites. However, hermaphroditic plants also suffer another challenge and that is that because they have both of their male and female parts within the same flower, this leads to the possibility of self-fertilization, the transfer of pollen between the parts of the same individual, leading to the possibility of the production of inbred progeny genetically weaker than progeny produced by crossing two individuals. Plants have evolved a number of ways to solve this problem. So the plant first disperses its pollen, acts as a father, and then once the pollen has been dispersed, it basically switches on its female function to, to receive pollen from other individuals. Another way is for the plant actually to evolve separate sexes. Instead of being hermaphrodite, the plant becomes either male or female. It acts either as a father or as a mother, and that way it avoids the problem of self-fertilization. And it's this basic question that we're particularly interested in our research at the University of Lausanne.